true story. In uh, <clears throat> 1995, I moved to North Carolina. It's going to start over, right? Try to get away from my drug problem, that kind of thing. Uh, I was using a lot of meth while I was living in San Diego, and I figured, well, you know, if I take off to North Carolina, I wouldn't know anybody, wouldn't be able to hook up and score. Well, while I was there, uh, I found a new drug, alcohol, and uh, was drinking every day. Um, I had been there only about a month, and I had gotten into about six different fights, you know, so that was part of another thing I was doing was getting into fights all the time. <clears throat> well, in one of these fights, um, I guess you could say everything started at the Dam Jam on the PD River. Every year they have what they call the Dam Jam. And it's where a bunch of bands get together and country folk get together and they just have a good time and drink and party and whatnot. Well, that day I'd gotten into a fight at the dam jam with my cousin. Well, you know, that went by and him and my uncle took off and left. Well, they left me there and I didn't really know anybody, but they asked this, this guy from the neighborhood if he'd take me home. Well, came time to go home and everything was cool. And I got home and my cousin and I kind of made up and we were sitting out in the van out in the, out in the yard that had a broke down van. And uh, so we're sitting there drinking, and uh, the guy that drove me home came back, and he was looking for my uncle. He was my uncle's age. Uh, I guess he was probably in his mid, mid to late 30s at that time. And, uh, well, he went, and of course it was late at night. It was probably midnight, 1.30 in the morning, somewhere in there. And uh, my uncle was like, hey, man, you need to go. You know, I'm trying to sleep, you know. Go bug someone else. Well, he come around the side of the house and he seen us sitting on the van and he says, I'm going to whoop one of y'all's asses. Well, <laughs> my cousin was in no position to fight since he had already gotten his ass beat that day. So I popped out. I was uh, 24 years old and cocky as hell and uh, had already won a bunch of fights already in the time that I had been there. And so I pop out, and uh, we square off, and I give him a kick right square in his chest, and he kind of goes back. Well, as he goes back, I move forward, and I give him the old one-two, and then I kind of back off of him because he went down. Uh, he, while he's down, he's on his knees, and he comes up, and he tries to, like, tackle me. You know, he's over like this, and tries to tackle me. And uh, I actually didn't feel anything. But, uh, you know, I kind of push him off me, and he's like, it looked like he was just swiping at my leg. My cousin yells, Doug, he's cutting you. He's cutting you. And I kind of back away from him, and I look down, and my pants, they're, they're just covered in blood. I'm about to shit myself, because I'm, I'm scared, and I'm, like, freaked out, because I realized this dude, he just cut me all over on my leg. So, uh, I mean, at that point, I told him, I said, man, you're dead. And I start pounding on him with my fist and everything. And he crawls over to the chain link fence. And uh, I was wanting his knife. I was going to gut him. And uh, he wouldn't come off with his knife. And I didn't know where the knife was. So I started kicking him in his face. And every time he, I'd kick him, he'd bounce against the chain link fence and then come back forward again. And I'd kick, kick him again. And he just kept doing that. Bounce and kick. And finally he, uh, he fell over and started crawling into the bushes and everything. And... Uh, I got off him, and uh, that was about it. But I went and looked at my leg, and it was really cold that time, at, at that time of year. It was about October or so, and uh, I was wearing a pair of blue jeans, but I also had like a pair of cutoff sweats on underneath them. So he got me across my thigh, and I mean, it basically just left three long scratches on there. But he got me also right on the back side of my knee along where the tendon is. And uh, that's what these pictures are right here. So that's where he opened me up. Just on the back side of my knee right here. You see it's a pretty good scar there.
and then you can barely see it there's a scar there across my thigh there and then there's two more that go down this way but just, just can't really see them anymore they've faded over the years so that's basically it um, I've actually run into the guy several times since then we've talked about it and everything and he doesn't remember cutting me and uh, you know, he sees the whole fight as being some other way than it actually was, and maybe I do too, I honestly, you know, well, I was drunk, you know. That's the kind of shit that happens when you're drinking. So, uh, y'all have a good one, and, uh, take care. Laters.